This program brought to you by... This is part two of Woodworking Angles, Building a Chair. Now, if you didn't see part one, stop right now, click on the link below, and then come back and catch up with us. If you already watched it, well, let's get on with the show. Hello fellow wood chopperoos, Chad here, and yes, this is part two of Woodworking Angles, Building a Chair. Now in the first video, you learned about the four different angles, splay, rake, resultant line, and sight line angles. And we used a little bit of geometry to figure them all out. Now on this episode, I'm going to show you how to take those measurements, those angles, and lay them out on your workpiece to drill that hole, and it has to be precise. And I'm going to show you two different methods to do that. One will be in the drill press, and the other is with a homemade jig. All right, so let's take a look at the workpiece here. So this is my workpiece here that I want to drill the holes out in it. Now, where these holes are, I kind of briefly discussed that in part one. Now, uh, just to review the angles, I had splay at 11 and rake at 8. The combination of those two gave me a resultant line of 13 and a half and the sight line of 54 degrees. And the sight line is what I'm going to be uh, primarily focusing on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a line going all the way across these front holes. And I'll do the same with the back. Now keep in mind I have a, a different resultant line and a different sight line angle for the back holes. But I'm going to show you the front ones for now. All right, so I have my protractor here. I have it set at 54 degrees. And I have to think about the fact that the leg is going to be angling out and away from the seat. This is the top side of my seat not the bottom. So I'm going to line this edge up with the pencil line going across and I want I want to ex oops, I want to extend this line out. And I'll do this on both sides. Okay, this is my sight line, and this is going to be important for me when I set it up in my drill press. And what I'm going to do is, just to help aid me, I'm going to draw a 90 degrees from the sight line. This is going to aid me when I set it up in my drill press. Okay, and now I'm going to need that resultant angle, which was 13 and a half. That's going to come into play next. Okay, in the drill press, I have an inch and a quarter Forstner bit in it. And my resultant angle was 13 and a half degrees. So using a bevel and my protractor, I've set the bevel for 13 and a half. And what I want to do now is I want to tilt the bed of this drill press until the bevel is parallel with the drill bit. And so just by sighting down the bevel to the shaft on the drill bit, I can get that running parallel so I know now this bed is angled at 13 and a half degrees. So I have the seat and I'm ready to put this in. Now, you ha again, you have to imagine a little bit here. Uh, as the hole comes through, you notice the leg will be angling out and away from the seat. If I was to do it on this side, then the leg would be angling inward to the seat. We don't want that. So first, make sure you're drilling the correct hole. Now, here's where these lines, these sight lines, come into play. I want this sight line 
running straight coming into the side here. And that's why I like to put this dashed line at a 90 degrees because that should be coming straight at me. So I can make sure that this line is running parallel here. And I'll look down the, I'll look down the side of this and make sure that is running straight in the middle. And of course, I want the drill bit to be going right in the middle on my X. This is important. You really have to get this right. This sight line is important. Okay, I'm going to put a, a sacrificial scrap piece of wood underneath this, and then I'll drill it out. Okay, that's the first hole. And now what I have to do is I have to tilt this bed the other direction, doing the same process with my, with my bevel and setting it up to that 13 and a half degrees and drill out the other front hole. So the two front legs now are drilled, and I'm going to show you a different way how to do the back. Now the drill press, well that's the easiest and the fastest way to do this. But I'm going to show you how to do it with a homemade jig. Now the reason I'm showing you the jig is because when I built the bench for my customer, it was too long and too big, it was just too awkward, I could not get it in the drill press, so the jig is what I had to do to make it work. So let me show you that next. Now keep in mind that the back legs I have at a slightly different angle. I kept the splay the same at 11, but the rake I bumped it up to 16 degrees. And then that gave me a different resultant line and it gave me a different sight line angle as well. So I'm gonna real quick lay out the sight line angle again on the seat and then I'll show you how this jig really works well. So the sight line angles I have on here, and as I said, they're different from the front. Uh, in doing the geometry on this, these sight line angles came out to be 34 degrees. Now on the front legs, you saw me use this really nice protractor. Uh, th this is a tool that I prefer to use. It costs about a hundred bucks. But you don't have to use this. You can actually use a kid's dollar protractor you get at the corner grocery store. And so what I would do is with my straight line that goes across intersecting the holes, I would put that on there. I come up to 34 degrees, make a mark, and then with a straight edge, extend that through. Okay. So now I'm going to show you that cool jig and how it's going to work with this. So here is the jig. Now this jig is made specific for this angle. And what I mean by that is my splay was 11, my rake was 16. Doing the math, it gave me a resultant line of 19 degrees. That's what this is angled. So this bevel is set at 19 degrees. And you can see that the angle of this arm now is the same, 19 degrees. I also have, uh, there will be a, this Forstner uh, drill bit extension arm that I picked up at Woodcraft. Uh, that will slide through here. Keeping the angle of the drill bit exactly at that 19 degrees. Now the last thing I want to do is work with this jig on that sight line. So if you notice that the center of the drill bit uh, is in line here with that, I drilled an access hole and I have a V cut on the front of this jig and that's to help me line it up on that pencil line of my sight line. So the V notch I get going into the pencil. I've drilled this hole so I can, it's basically like a window 
so I can get this center line lined up with the sight line. And from there, I clamp it up and I'm ready to drill. One done, I'll set it up and do the other side. With my legs put in it, I have the front and the rear legs both at that splay of 11 degrees. From the side, I have the front legs raked at 8 and the back legs raked at 16. And overall, it came out really good. Well, I hope this was educational for you and I hope it helps you take your first step into building your own chair. As always, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, keep on dancing.